Hey guys, Atticus James here with GizofGuns.com and today we are talking about my Tommy gun. This is the 1927A1 model TC1. Basically what that tells you is that this is going to be the one with the black furniture. I did not change all of this out, this is all stock. So. A little bit later on in the video, I'm going to be showing you guys about how to load the magazine and some of the issue that I had with it before and how I figured out how to correct it. Alright, so as I said, I had a few issues when I first got this and in realizing exactly what my problems were. Now, if you look on the back cover here, it says wind to nine or 11 clicks. And the problem is, is that nine or 11 clicks would be great if it was, you know, very sound, you knew exactly which click. Well, it's not exactly what you think. There are multiple clicks that this, go, this drum mag makes, and to me, I wish it was a little more sound, but Again, this magazine is a hell of a lot older than I am, so I'm not one to complain saying, Ugh, I'm not going to shoot this because I can't guarantee exactly which click it is. You know, this is one of those things that you just got to learn to, to use properly, and uh, then you'll know which click it is, and you won't have any issues, or you shouldn't have any issues in, in the future. Now I'm going to show you one of the things that I like to do to ensure that I have loaded this right every time and that the gun is going to function. Because if we don't, we will have a failure to feed and I'll show you kind of what that looks like and why it happens. So this is how we load the magazine up. Now obviously I didn't load this up with a full 50 rounds. I am not able to shoot a full 50 on camera so we're going to go and just shoot the few that I have in here. All right, so very simple to put the, the cover back on, go and lock that on. And then what we do have to do is we've got to click this nine or 11 times. So you just heard one click. That's not a real click. We want a one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, just for good measure, we're going to go to eleven, ten, eleven. Now, one thing that you're going to notice. As I said, I did have issues with this until I realized exactly how this works. You got these little clicks, but a full click actually locks into place. If it doesn't lock into place, that is not a full click. So, you're gonna hear some noises, but just to ensure that it is fully working, I'm always going to pull my first round. To do that, I just use my butt. And as long as this round locks into place, it is full of tension and it's back in place, we know that we are in good shape. If this is loose, if it's, if it's dangling here, it means it didn't click all the way through. And that is typically what happens when you go to eight or 10. So be aware of that. If you pull the first round and it goes and gives you a bullet that locks in, you shouldn't have the issue. So as I said, we are looking at my Tommy gun. And for those of you guys who are not familiar, the Tommy gun is now manufactured under the umbrella of the car group, which owns companies such as Magnum Research, Thompson Machine, they also own Auto Ordnance, and obviously Car Firearms. So you have a lot of companies under one roof that make a lot of great firearms. A lot of us are very familiar with the Desert Eagles and all of the cool different guns that they have, and I am very excited about some of those reviews that are coming out later on this year. But this year, I've got to finish up my awesome Tommy gun review. I've had this gun now for about six months, and I had some issues with it in loading and trying to get the magazine to work properly. I was running my 20 round stick mag for quite a while just because, honestly, I could not get it to work right, and it was my own fault. So, 
as you can see I finally fixed the issue the gun functions cycles great and like I said it was just a user error when I was loading the magazines let me tell you a little bit about this when you get this gun you're gonna get the gun you're gonna get a sling for it and you're going to get one drum mag and one stick mag for those of you guys who are unfortunately unable to own the 50 round mags at least you can have a 10 round magazine that you can use out on the range so you can still have some fun now many of you guys know I'm a huge fan of the 45 ACP this is one of my most favorite calibers out there and so to have something that is such an iconic gun something that you could put onto a wall and to have it as a conversation piece similar to that Wyndham weaponry um, 16 inch government model that I love so much you can put these guns onto the wall have somebody be able to walk into your house look at them and see wow you know such a, a historical piece but it's not something that you're afraid to say yeah let's go out to the range and shoot it a little bit let's go in and put 5,000 rounds downrange because this gun is a new gun it's going to be able to withstand all of everything that you're going to be able to, to put at it it really cycles well I haven't had any ammo issues I'm just running ball ammunition I don't run anything other than ball ammunition out of carbines or out of rifles when it comes to um, pistol caliber carbines and that's just because I know that it's going to function now while I was loading this gun you probably saw this orange magnet and now I'm going to show you exactly what I use that for obviously the gun's clear and we have it locked back so I can pull the magazine out this is a piece that you don't want to lose so we have what's called the third hand it's a very simple and ingenious piece of metal right here it slides into the um, magazine catch magazine holder and what it does is it allows you to activate your bolt hold mechanism if you don't have the bolt hold open and locked to the rear then you cannot load magazines drum magazines that is you cannot have a stick magazine and have the third hand in there so you do have to remove it but it's very simple it just slides in and out now here's the problem where am I gonna put this it's such a tiny piece I don't really want to put it into my pocket because when I go home and wash my jeans it will probably still be there I don't really want it with my keys because I'll probably put it with my keys into a bowl and then forget where I put it so I have a little magnet just a little broken computer magnet something that's small that's strong enough to hold that keeps it on there and now I always know if I'm running this drum mag boom there's my third hand because again right now I'm switching over to my stick mag so I'll show you the loading on this one so we can see in the magazine it's got this rib on the back that just slides into there locks it in place we're good to go let's go shoot now I wish this was full auto I really do you know there's something about full auto that just <sighs> you wake up for it and you say mmm let's go shoot full auto day but it isn't it isn't but it's still super fun so let me go dump these 20 rounds. Ah. Both hold on the, the last round. Now the problem is, is that you still need to go and have that, that hand, that third hand already in there when you're gonna go and run your drum mag again. It's just easier to remember to put it in there before you load the magazine and then trying to fiddle with it and remember it when you're running the drum mag. Obviously on the drum mag, since there's nothing on the back for it to catch on the last round um, out, that bolt hold isn't gonna function on the last round. So having that in there, you lock it to the rear, you can pull your magazine out and then slide another magazine in or go about your day. And the other benefit to having this is that it's easy to use. It's just a simple pressing up while holding this back to go and lock it in there. So if you are at a gun range and they ask you to show clear, it's easy to do without having to fiddle too much with it. 
I'm going to tell you a very plain and simple truth. The 50 round mag is so much more fun to shoot. 100% loading that magazine up, even a 100 round magazine is more fun to shoot. However, the stick mag to me is the better mag to go with because I can sit here and I can load 20 rounds. I don't have to fiddle with the cover. I don't have to fiddle with anything. So uh, disappointingly, I like the 20 round stick mag more than I like my drum mag. If I'm gonna load up two boxes of, of ammo, that's one thing, but when I'm going to reload at the range, I wanna be sitting here just reloading a stick mag. It's the same as reloading all my pistol mags. And at the end of the day, what do you wanna be doing? Would you rather be pulling the trigger or loading magazines? I'd rather be pulling the trigger. And again, we need to pull out my third hand. Drop it back on that magnet. Everything locked back in place. So let's talk about the dreaded thing. Now, some of you guys will find this dreadful. I find it soothing after a nice long day at the range. You've got to clean the gun. This is not a gun that is going to last 10,000 rounds without cleaning. It's not a, a gun that you want to even last a thousand rounds without cleaning. If you don't keep it clean, if you don't keep it lubricated, you don't keep it properly maintained, it is not designed to continue its cyclic rate. As it gets more dirty, it's going to slow. As it slows, you're going to run into more jams, more problems. So keep the gun clean. Keep the gun oiled and have a great time at the range. Now, one thing that I, I, I wish this had, but it doesn't, is I wish this wasn't a pen muzzle device with your blade on it. Because honestly, I want to throw a uh, suppressor on here. I want to be shooting this with a suppressor and just having a great time. Because honestly, 45, it's not going to make any noise. You're going to be sitting there shooting semi auto going, <laughs> This thing is whisper quiet. But again, we have that pen muzzle device. We've got our blade on there. There are some trade-offs. But again, mounting this in a nice case on the wall and then putting like a, a Wyndham Weaponry 20 inch government model underneath it, you know, having a little placard saying what they are, what they're based on, saying the years, yeah. That'd be a nice conversation piece, a nice, beautiful thing for, and I'm not going to say a man cave because honestly, man caves are overrated. We need to go back to the days when men had studies. Nice big leather chair and sit in there, have a nice stogie, mmm, whiskey on the table, not some beer keg off to the side, no big flat screen TV, something that is elegant and regal. But then again, you know, Maybe put a TV behind a picture that lifts up. Whatever. It's it's your study. Guys, I'm Atticus James with GearsofGuns.com. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this review as much as I enjoyed shooting this gun. And honestly, like I said, this is in my collection. It's not going anywhere. This is mine because it is just a blast to shoot. You can do a lot of, of stuff with this. And the fact is... It's a conversation piece. You go out to any range and start shooting this and people are gonna come up to you and go, man, that is so cool. It's not just another AR. It's not an AR and pistol caliber. Oh, it's just a pretty gun. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.